so first thing I'm doing in the morning is I'm checking the charts, I'm checking the news, you know, I'm responding back to emails, I'm responding back to comments, DMs, Discord messages, you know, I'm really tapping in with the community because, you know, I haven't talked to them in a couple hours. So, you know, I got to see what's going on with, with the gang, you know what I mean? And we're also waiting for some trades to set up. Um, I'm looking at AU, GU, so hopefully we get a good trade. We'll see what's up. Might do some, you know, video editing. Got a crazy vlog coming. So, yeah, we're just going to get into it. All right, so I picked me up a Montclair jacket. You feel me? I, think was, I don't remember how much it was, like 1700 or something like that? 2500 I don't remember. Got me a little Montclair jacket. It's starting to get cold out here. Got me this uh, JaVinci dress shirt type of thing. I don't know if you guys can see it says JaVinci on there. It's just pretty fire. You know, for date night and shit. Got my wife a Montclair jacket. Yeah, that's pretty fire. I also got me a new camera, bruh. So... Hopefully the quality will be better. This is the Sony a7 IV. It was like 2800, I think. Then I picked me up a laptop because I can't edit while I'm on vacation. So the guy at Best Buy said Omen is good, but this is low-key trash. All right. Damn, who you not doing it like this though? All right, so this is the backyard of it. You know what I mean? My bedroom up there where all the magic happens. Got a big ass pool jacuzzi got my nephew in there you know i got the family out here bro we just living life oh shit oh shit my head <laughs> so i seen some shit going on with you and your girl like what's that all about we we've been going through it for a while now we are not together right now but this girl came up to me and tried to get a photo i was like all right whatever but right when they went to snap the photo she tried to kiss me Oh, and shit. I was like, yo, what the fuck is you doing? People have pulled up to my house. People have tried to expose my address. I have been followed before for sure, but I'm well protected. I'm not worried about none of that. What's your relationship with like, these other traders like, you know, Daniel? I All right, guys, so we just came to the next Airbnb. Check out the view. It's pretty fire, bro. And you can see the ocean. If you look real close, we got the city. You know, this is a very rich neighborhood. It's like four or five million dollar houses everywhere you go. You know, this shit is lit. So, I mean, let me give you a little house tour so you guys can see what your future house is going to look like. All right, so this is the living room right here. We got the kitchen. We got this, like, inside, outside living type of doors right here. It's pretty dope. Got the stairs. Now, we already been here for a couple days. You know, I just got that podcast done yesterday with Mamba. You feel me? But I just wanted to give you guys a quick house tour before we get out of here. This is the master bedroom right here. You know, all the magic happens. Got a crazy view out here too. This is the view right here. Fire, fire, fire. You know, it's the restroom, you know, nothing crazy. Now this was the room that I was gonna do the podcast in, but then when I got here, I seen that this couch is pink and it's small as hell. I was like, nah, I'm not going for that shit. So we ended up setting up downstairs. This one's pretty dope, right? This is where I come when the baby's going to sleep. So we got a balcony right here where you can step out and see the neighborhood. Fire, bro. We got the mountain right there. You ever wonder what a $5 million neighborhood looks like in LA? That's what it looks like. It's pretty fire. See, we got G-Wagons right there. But the point of this, bro, is just, just keep going. No matter how bad it looks right now, like you might be losing every single trade every week or losing money. You feel like you just keep buying challenges and that shit is rigged. It's not rigged, bro. We all get treat the same, right? You just got to keep showing up and doing it every day, and eventually it's going to work out. But just, I just want to let you guys know God works, bro. He fucking works. So make sure you use him and you build a relationship with him, and, and your life's going to change. You know, shout out to Mama for pulling up. I know he's probably going through some shit right now, but he still pulled up to fuck with me. You know, I really appreciate it. You know, we locked in. You know, he's a real dude. He didn't have to do that. You know, he doesn't gain nothing by being on my channel. So he just pulled up to fuck with me. Like, that's love, bro. Like, for real. But now I'm about to show you some of these houses. You see, there ain't no crackheads or nothing, bro. Walking down the street, they probably think, who the fuck is this trying to rob me? It's nice houses, though. You know, you finna see me get one of these houses real soon, bro. Just watch. Just watching. Y'all gonna get one too? We all gonna turn up. All right, so I'm about to take my daughter to go play on the little jungle gym they got back here. So it should be lit. She loves this shit, bro. She's been running around this whole house, just living life. She don't even know that she's about to have the best life a kid can have. She's already rich as fuck. She don't even know it. That's the whole point of this. My daughter to have a life that I never had or that my wife never had. Mission accomplished, bro. Go ahead, mama. She got stuck on the sand. Oh my god. <laughs> Yay. 
So I brought my whole family out here with me, right? And it's like before, we never really had time to bond or really kick it. You know, my, my relationship with my family hasn't been very good. You know, me and my mom always been tight, but you know, everyone else has kind of been iffy, right? You know, I don't really talk to my dad, but he was out here, you know what I mean? And he could just see like, you know what? All that shit you were telling me that I was a loser, I was too stupid in school, all that shit didn't mean nothing because I still became a motherfucking monster, you feel me? I really did this shit, bro. Every other person that tried to talk down on me and say I'll never be shit, I'll just be a pothead, stuck in the streets doing dumb shit. Yeah, we here now. When I was broke as hell, y'all was making fun of me. Oh, you think you could really be a forest trader? Oh my God. Wake up, bruh. People don't make it where we come from. You'd be lucky to get a warehouse job, truck driving job. Now look at them. They over there working right now. I'm in the fucking mountains. You guys could do whatever you put your mind to. I don't care what it is. You want to be a fucking astronaut? You want to go to Mars? You can do that shit, bro. You just got to put in the work. Don't make no excuses. You just got to believe in yourself when no, because no one else is going to believe in you. I promise you that. If you're looking for everyone to believe in you and that's why you're telling them, hey, bro, I want to be a forest trader and you're expecting them to be like, yeah, man, you could do that shit, bro. Yeah, they might do that for the first month, second month. But once you're two years into that shit, they're going to be like, bro, give that shit up. Like, at this point, you're just stupid. Like, fuck all that, bro. You got to believe in yourself. Find you a woman that believes in you. That's just going to help. Promise you that. But there's no secret to this shit, bro. A lot of people think, oh, if I do 72 push-ups, take two cold showers a day, I'm going to be a millionaire. And that's just not how this shit works. It's not how it works, bro. You got to put in a million fucking hours. You got to sacrifice everything for this shit to work. You're going to lose family members, friends. But I'm going to let you know right now, this shit worth it, bro. If they didn't want to stick by you, they weren't meant to be in your life. God is going to take whoever is not supposed to be in your life away. So a lot of people ask me, like, what other investments do you have? You know, are you into stocks? Are you into real estate? You know, I, I'm really not into anything else but Forex because, like, nothing's going to give me a return on my investment like Forex. So Forex is the only industry where you can spend about $500,000, get you a funding challenge, and then get to making millions, bro. There's no better return on investment than Forex, bro. Like, once you figure this out, like money is not a problem no more. Like once you figure out the charts, you just go on there every morning, make you a couple bands and live your life. Like there's nothing that's gonna give you that return on investment. Like at least nothing that I've came across, right? Real estate, that's just gonna take forever and you're only making $800, $900,000 a month. Like the rest of it goes to mortgage. So it's like, I don't see the point of it. Drop shipping is trash. That just comes with a whole bunch of headaches, a whole bunch of fucking emails and shit you gotta answer it's just it's not even worth it bro like the the profit on drop shipping is not it i don't know how these drop shippers be supposedly having lamborghinis and shit i think that's all cap because i tried drop shipping bro the profit margin is not there it's really not maybe i'll do a series you know teaming up with a drop shipper and maybe they could teach me and then, and then i'll show you guys like what's real like if if i start making a whole bunch of money i'll show you guys like yo drop shipping works but for me from the experience that i had Bro, you always at break even or at a loss. Like you, you spend so much money on ads that by the time you sell the products, you don't even really make money. So I don't, I don't know how they do it, but who knows? Maybe I'll do a series like that where I'll try to start a drop shipping store and, I, and I'll team up with another drop shipper. I'll let you guys pick them. You know, I'll hit them up. I'll pay them whatever. You know, just to get it done, just for content. But then you know, if we get a business out of it, we get a business out of it. What kind of businesses you guys want me to try? Like, just comment down below. Let me know. Affiliate marketing drop shipping real estate like just let me know what you guys want to see and um, i'll make it happen let me be the test dummy i'll test it out and i'll let you guys know what's real and what's not all right serious question lamborghini or rolls royce oh it's a b oh hell no i'm finna run